Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about the average if function in Google Sheets. In this video, we will talk about what this function is and how to use it. Clicking any cell within Sheets and typing equals average if and hitting tab, we can see a small description of our necessary parameters. Clicking learn more, we get another pop-up window that further explains this function's capabilities. So, as we can see here, this function allows you to calculate the mathematical average of a range of cells based on a specific criteria. As you can see here, there are two mandatory parameters that we will need to give the function. Let's go through these parameters quickly, then we will go through some detailed examples. The first parameter our function asks for is the range. And this is a list of cells over which our criteria will be checked against. The second parameter here is our criteria, which is our test condition. If a cell in our range meets whatever our criteria is and is a number, it will be added to our numbers being averaged. But what if our criteria is a name or something non-numerical? Well, lastly, in these square brackets here, we have an optional parameter, which we need if our range isn't a list of numbers, as we cannot average a list of names, for example. We'll walk through how this works shortly. Let's now explore a few examples of how to implement the average if function in Google Sheets to make sure that you fully understand how to use it. First, let's say that we want to calculate our average sales if a sale is greater than 8,000. To answer this question, we want to filter out all sales below 8,000 and then take the average of all the sales above our criteria. To do this, Let's click this cell here and call our function average if. Then you can see it wants us to enter the range of our data, which recall is the range of cells we want to check our criteria against. Therefore, since we want to check if our sales are over 8,000, we are going to select all the cells of our sales numbers for our range. Then let's add a comma to move on to our next parameter. This is our criteria. Here, as we said, we want to filter for all sales that are larger than 8,000. Therefore, to do this, we need to do it within quotation marks like so. Then we can just hit enter and we get our average. So just for clarity, this is the mean value. So it is all the values above 8,000 added together, then divided by the number of times we had sales over 8,000. Now let's move on to our next example. In this one, we are asked to calculate the average sales of John. One way that we can do this is through the average if function. This time, because our criteria check is going to be a salesperson's name, we are going to select the names as our range. Then our criteria here will be John, as we only want to average his sales. Clicking enter here, you can see that we are returned an error, as Google Sheets is currently trying to take the average of names with which it cannot actually do. This is an example where we need to use the optional average range parameter, which we add to our sales data like this. So our function checks our left row to see if a sale is made by John. If so, it adds that sales number on the right here to our average and then moves down to check the next sale. We can also select a reference cell if you wish, instead of entering the name or value into your criteria like so. Moving on to our next problem, we need to find the average of all sales that are not made by John. To accomplish this, we can use the following method. This line can be read as average sales in a range that are not equal to John. I hope that this video helped you learn something about the average if function within Google Sheets. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.